GSTR 7 is a return to be filed by tax deductors giving details of tax deducted at source, also called in short as TDS, paid at the time of making payment to suppliers. Form GSTR 7 can be filed using the offline utility or directly online on the GST portal. Let's learn how to file GSTR 7 using the offline utility. This involves multiple steps as displayed on screen. This video will guide you how to prepare TDS return using the GSTR 7 offline utility. Let's get started with this video. Once you have downloaded and opened the GSTR 7 offline tool, go through the Read Me section carefully. Then, in the Home section, enter your GSTIN and select the financial year and period of the return to be filed. This utility contains this Supplier's Master section to help you. In one go, enter GSTINs and other details of all your deductees and validate them for their structure format and thus save time while making entries in Table 3 and Table 4 in these sections. Click the Validate Sheet button. Click OK. And now go to Table 3 TDS Sheet. If you had entered GSTINs in Suppliers Master section, select the GSTIN of Deductee from this drop down list or click this toggle button to disable Suppliers Master drop down and copy or paste GSTIN from any other document. For a particular GSTIN of the Deductee, there cannot be any duplicate entry. In case you have made payment for four different suppliers to one supplier, add up all the payments and enter one single consolidated amount in the Amount Paid to Deductee on which tax is deducted column. Don't enter any negative amount. You can enter decimal values. The utility will automatically round off all decimal values you enter to two decimal places. Then, enter the tax details. In case of interstate supplies, integrated tax is applicable and otherwise central tax or state or UT tax will be applicable. Lastly, select the Add option from the drop-down list of the Action column for each row that you have filled in. Make sure you do not leave any row blank. Offline utility will not consider the records added after a blank row. Once you have entered all the tedious details, click the Validate Sheet button. In case of errors, the Sheet Validation Errors column will be auto-populated with text Error Found in Row and this error intimation pop-up will appear. Click OK and bring your cursor on the red highlighted cells to read the error description and correct each error. After you have corrected all the errors, click the Validate Sheet button again. Click OK. Now, all red highlights will be removed and Sheet Validation Errors column will become empty. If you have to make any amendments related to previous months, Go to the Table for Amend section and add details just as you did in Table 3. The only difference here is that you need to enter both original and revised details and also enter yes or no in the records rejected by deductee column. Select yes if these entries pertain to the rejected records or else select no. Then again Click the Validate Sheet button. Click OK and then click Go Home button. Click the Get Summary button and the summary of all the entries filled in the two tables, Table 3 and Table 4, is displayed. Go through it to ensure that the details entered are complete and correct. Now as the last step, scroll up and click the Generate JSON File to Upload button. Click Save, but do not change the file extension .json while saving. 
and click OK on this pop-up which confirms that your generated JSON file has been placed at the desired location and is now ready for upload. It's that simple. <laughs>